One thing that can really make your photos quite a bit more interesting is adding some really nice tones to them. Luckily, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom has features that make split toning really, really easy. And I'm going to demonstrate them to you today. So we're going to open up a file in Lightroom. We're going to go to develop. Now, the first thing you probably want to do is process this image. And in order to do that, I'm just going to very quickly go and process it now. It won't be too long. Now, whilst I'm processing it, I just, I'll just i say a couple of things. Firstly, when you're using toning, you can use toning on both color and black and white images. But personally, I find it's always far more effective on black and white images. And the other thing that I'm going to say about toning is... Um, is that uh, yeah? It just makes your images far more interesting, and it gives them quite a bit of some uh, some nice effects in that. So I'm just going to very slightly bump up the, exp the exposure on this. Okay, so now that we've got this processed very very quickly, uh, I'm going to teach you how to do toning in Lightroom. So we're going to go down here to split toning. We're going to click this here, and then it's very easy. You can just drag along, and you can see that the uh, image is changing color. Now you want to be careful when toning not to overdo it. It's a bit like HDR. When it's badly done uh, you can really tell but when it's done really well you can tell. Now the sort of tones and colors that you want to use depend entirely on what you're toning and what the subject is. Um, for this photo I'm actually going to go with, uh, well for the color I'll go with quite a warm a, a relatively warm tone. So that's the uh, highlights and you can change the uh, strength of the tone by adjusting the balance. And you can also change the uh, saturation as well to uh, get your desired effect. And you can also change the hue as well but I'll change it up there. Now for the shadows uh, you can create some very interesting looking tones for example um, I mean you can you can I mean obviously in some cases it can look a bit awful but I'll go for something a bit like this. Now I'm not sure if this really works or not, it looks alright to me but I'm not entirely sure because I have toned this image before but not in colour. So that's how it looks in colour and now we're going to go and put it on black and white and you can see how much more effective it looks but on black and white I think you'll find that actually it looks a lot better with the colder colours something a little bit like that. Now the main reason for doing toning in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom is so that you um, don't have to use something like the fully blown Adobe Photoshop in order to do toning because the variations tool in Photoshop can take a little while to get used to and uh, it can be a little bit annoying and also when you do it in um, also, when you do it in Lightroom, you can do it really quickly and easily from uh, one program. So that makes toning in Lightroom uh, really good. And as you can tell, it's very effective. So thanks for watching my video on toning in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom.